Welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I'm Marina, and it's Teemo time, you guys. I, I'm so psyched about this Teemo haul because I just love every single thing that I got. I am going to jump into it, and I'm going to try my best to haul as many items before I go off the rails into over an hour land because nobody watches my videos when they're super duper long anymore and I really want to share these items with you because I want to get right into them I mean like I want to be able to use them now this um this is cool it was $13 I have since noticed that they offered a few lightning deals on it I did not actually buy it on a lightning deal it has these poles that you put through. I'm going to show you exactly what it is, you guys. Now, if I go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I can probably get one similar to this or very much like it. I mean, to be honest with you, I love it. I don't know what more to say other than that. I love this. It is so nice. Do you guys see that? It's a rolling laundry basket. It's the really big kind, and it was only $13. It does have this mesh so that, you know, the animals or like my dogs won't get in it. I, I think it's cool that it has the mesh on top. And the only thing that I wish I could do is dislodge the bottom base so you could wash the whole thing. But even the ones in Marshalls don't do that. You can take the whole thing and hose it off in your bathtub, which I've done in the past when I've bought laundry hampers like this. I love that it says laundry. It fits in my tiny bathroom, which is really, really cool. You know, you put these poles down the side here to make this stand up, like a pop-up tent kind of. And I think that for 13 bucks, this is a great buy. It's a big, big size one. They do come in smaller versions, but I wanted the big one that's also, like you guys can see, it's a good size laundry basket. For $13, I think it's attractive. I mean, and I do save a few dollars buying it from Timu because even on sale at Marshall's, like maybe if I grab one on clearance, one like this would start out at $29.99, in my opinion. If you're lucky, maybe $19.99 if they happen to get a, a cheaper version in. And I got it for $13 delivered to my door. Honestly, I think that that's a great buy. I love that it has the wheels. One locks so you can make it not to roll. That, it's a great buy for that price. Honestly, honestly, I couldn't wait to do this haul so I could use that because it's going to make my bathroom look really much neater and organized and I'm psyched about that. Then I ordered four of these pillowcases. And I'm undecided on them. They were four bucks each or $3.96 each. And they are super pretty. They're for, you know, your, your bed. They're not like sofa pillows or anything like that. The print is so pretty. I do have a really pretty, pretty pink velvet blanket and like a rust velvet blanket. So I wanted to get pillowcases that would match the pink velvet blanket because the rust one I mix with like oranges and yellows. So I wanted to get something super pink and girly <laughs> to torture my husband with. No, he actually loves satin pillowcases, but because uh, they're comfy to sleep on. But here's what I'm, I like that it envelopes. Now I have to say that I appreciate the fact that it envelopes, but what I don't appreciate is the fact that it is not printed on both sides. But then I showed it to my husband and he was like, so what? Um, so it's white on the other side. That doesn't matter. They're really nice. You should keep them. And I was really surprised that he said that. Like he actually was like, I think they're nice. I think they're going to look really pretty in the bedroom. I think that you're going to like them. And I had ordered two for me and two for Constance, the Butterfly Mom, Butterfly Mom Creations and more. And I don't know if she likes them. Let me know in the comments down below, Constance, if you like the fact that they are white on the other side. Because if you do, then that'll be partial happy birthday to you. If not, I'll send them back to Timu. That whole thing rhymed. Then these were a lightning deal. And I had a subscriber, Emily, ask me to review these because a lot of people are buying them. I think they were like $8.96. 
And they're supposed to be a dupe for some sort of orthopedic shoe that's out on the market. Now these are not leather. They're not even, you know the thing that goes over your cup at Starbucks? The little piece of cardboard? That's almost what these feel like. I am not a fan of this product. And I don't normally share what I, I mean, they were $8.96. Now I did put my foot in here and they are very comfortable, but the real ones, I think the real ones are by, um, Born, Bjorn. You guys know the company that makes shoes that are crazy, crazy comfortable. And they do have, they look like they have that arch support and that quilted foamy. See, like, look, it's like, it's like pretend. This is like, let's pretend that this is a good shoe. That's what this is. Uh, it's very hard. Listen, listen to this. This is like hard plastic. It's not foam. It weighs absolutely nothing. So, but here's the deal. If you find that you um, cannot wear a shoe that's very heavy, it fatigues you, this may be something that you would like. These do not bend. They're like a rock. They have no softness to them. A little teeny bit here in the middle, but I will return these. Even though they were only $8.96, I'm not keeping them. I would have liked them, actually, if they were soft. I would have kept them, you know, just to... I Honestly, I bought them because you guys asked me to review them. Also, I am a size 9.5, and, and I ordered a 43, and my toe basically is practically coming out of here. So if I remember to try them on and show you guys, so a 43, I don't know even, I thought that a 43 was like a 10 and a half, but I'm a nine and a half and these fit me like almost too tight. So on, and I just, they're just not, they're not. The real ones are not like sexy, beautiful, sandals. I like that they're a T-strap and they have that kind of 1940s vibe to them. And I've seen ladies wear these, um, I forget they're by Bjorn, Bjorn or whatever that name of that brand is. I've seen ladies wear them with like cute, trendy dresses and they look really cool and funky, but these do, these look like paper shoes. <laughs> so I don't, I don't really give them a big thumbs up. There are other companies that make them on Timu. So since more than one of you guys were asking me about these, maybe I'll order them again from a different brand on Timu at a higher price to see if they're better quality. But these are definitely poor quality. You're getting what you pay for with that one. But then this, now this, this is darling. These are little baking tins and they seem to be for some kind of a religious holiday. I don't know what the holiday is. They did arrive squished, but I don't necessarily mind. They're like aluminum lined little cake pans. Are they not so cute? But I think that they are really cute to make homemade banana muffins or homemade little desserts in. They're just like individual banana bread is what, cause I always buy bananas and when they go bad, I make banana bread like everybody does. They were, they were like under, I'm gonna put the price of everything up here, but these were not expensive, you guys, under five bucks. There are 50 of them here, which I think is cool. They were under $5. I mean, I think they were under $4 in the three and a, and a half dollar range. The price of everything is going to be up here and all of the links will be in my description box. If for any reason I forget to link something in the comment box ever, just message me and I'll make sure to do it. This is not a sponsored video. I am a Timu affiliate, which means that I buy things that I like from Timu. I share them with you. And if you guys 
use my link or download the app or get your friends to download the app so I can make some money. Um, that's just a wink, wink moment. <laughs> get everybody in your family to download the app or you could become an affiliate with Timu and you could start making money and use my link to do it. All of that information will be in my description box and in the comment section. But if you like any of these items and you use my affiliate code, I will make a little bit of money. I'm not making a ton of money. It's like a small percentage, but it's open to everyone. So you can also share your reviews on Facebook or other places and make a little bit of money back when you're buying things from Timu. But the thing is that I would buy these things anyway, and I will only show you things that I really like or like these shoes. Because I have been suffering with this foot issue that I have with plantar fasciitis, two of you um, sent me separately the link to these shoes and said that they were dupes to high-end orthopedic style plantar fasciitis shoes and you were wondering if they were any good and had I tried them so I decided to try them and I know for a fact that if I wore these all day and I didn't put if they were much bigger maybe I would put insoles in them but since they fit me really tight they're going to go back. I'm not happy with them. But you guys, these shoes right here, I know that these are not for everyone. And I know that some of you guys out there are going to be like, oh, why in the world is she wearing those shoes? What's wrong with her? But you know what? I'm going to be me and you guys are going to be you. And that's the way it should be because I'm not you and you're not me. And if you don't like them, that's okay too. But I love this shoe and this shoe is so comfortable. I will forever be in the 80s where I loved my Mary Janes and they're making a comeback and I love these plaid adorable holiday perfect Mary Janes. They are crazy comfy. Now these are also a 43 but these fit me really well. So these are cut small and there is that to contend with if you do choose to buy those because they are dupes to orthopedic like um, arch support shoes. Now these do not claim to be that type of shoe, but these are. And I had a feeling that these were going to be crazy comfy because they have a slight heel. I need a little heel on my shoe. If my shoe has this type of heel, I can handle it. It's not going to hurt me. They had cushion because I did see some other women who had bought them showed them in the box. And I was like, okay, they have actual cushioning in them and it's nice cushioning. These are $30 on the website, but I got them at a lightning deal for $23, and I felt like that was a great, great deal. Um, they have other Mary Jane styles. They have so many Mary Jane styles. I will link these. I happen to have a pair of Walmart skinny jeans that are plaid like this that I love. They're super high-waisted. They look super cute on me. I love to wear plaid pants during the holidays with solid black tops colorful earrings and scarves. That's my thing. I feel like I can wear these with that outfit or, you know, I can wear a short A-line dress and a really nice scarf, fun earrings, black tights, and these shoes. They're crazy comfy and they are just so cute. They're like a lovely pop of color to add and wear with an all black outfit. You can wear a long black dress with this, tights, I just, I think that these are fantastic and they take me back to the eighties and I love you guys. I'm an old, I'm, I mean, these are just punky and cute. They remind me of eighties Doc Martin, Mary Jane's. I just absolutely love them for $23. And I know some of you are making fun of me right now. That's okay. I gotta be me. Honestly, they're going to look really cute on me and my feet are not going to be killing me at the end of the day. And that at this point in my life actually matters. When my feet are killing me, nobody wants to be around me because I am not a happy girl. Now, you guys are going to make fun of me for these and I'm I'm going to make fun of me for these too, but I I have to be honest with you, I think I paid like 3 I don't even know what I paid for them. The price is up here. I had to have them and I don't know why, but you guys are going to know why when you see them because I have a I just have a thing for these Look, I had to have these crazy earrings. I don't think I'm going to wear them as earrings. I'm probably going to hang them in my plants. That's what I was honestly thinking, but I could, I am not wearing these as earrings. <laughs> I would be, if it was a bird and a cat, maybe, but it's just, 
Look at how cute the bird is though. It is so cute. You can actually take the little earring thing out and just put it in something. But what I was honestly thinking of doing is just hanging them in my plants because it would be cute. Like, okay, I have my Christmas cactus. Uh, let me see if I can move this and you guys can see. I mean, they were a couple dollars, but I have my Christmas cactus right here. And I just thought to myself, how cute would it be if my Christmas cactus had just little birds hanging out in it? I mean, yeah, it's a little crazy, but so is Marina and that's okay because these are the silly, goofy things that make me happy. But I mean, look at it, you guys. Of course, I can hang it in my Christmas cactus for now. And then at Easter, I can put it in my Easter display. I just think they're so cute for a couple of dollars. They're just so cute. If I really want to wear them, I can wear them too. But I had to buy them. They were just, they're just adorable. They honestly really, I, maybe I, I'm not wearing them as jewelry. I'm not. Although these are pretty crazy too. These cute orange daisies that I bought a long time ago. I think I actually got these on Shein. All right. So moving on from my tiny, cute little yellow birds hanging in my Christmas cactus, I picked these up for my Aunt Marina. Now, my Aunt Marina has been telling me for years, oh, I had these slippers and I used them to clean the floors and I used to walk around with them on my feet and they were like the microfiber that they sell at the Dollar Tree, but they're attached to slippers and I haven't been able to find them anywhere. Well, get this guys, look. So you can wash them and your slippers don't have to go in the machine. I think that these are pretty cool. My aunt is gonna love them. I'm actually gonna see, oh my God, you know what? You could even buy the replacement things from the Dollar Tree. These are cool. When you're on the bowl in the bathroom, okay, you could be know that cleaning. that's TMI, but you could be like cleaning the floors and sitting on the sofa, like do, 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 do. But my aunt loves these type of slippers and she specifically told me if I ever see them again to get them for her. And I couldn't believe that I found them on Timu and they were like $5.99 or something like that. She's going to be so excited. I hope that they're her size, um, but she wears socks. So I feel like it doesn't matter. They'll work for her. Okay. Now we're going to get into the real nitty gritty. This top is everything. Go on Timu and order it in every color. It is a phenomenal buy. I already took a picture of myself in it. I am in love with this. It was in one of my thumbnails and I have already placed an order for it in other colors. I ordered it in a 4X and I actually like it in the 4X. It was a little big, but that's okay because it's sequin, but this material here is more like a cotton than anything else I've ever ordered from Timu. It, it's, it may be cotton, honestly. It will shrink. This fabric will shrink, whatever it is. This is very, very nice quality beautiful you guys a sequin top for this price beautiful isn't it gorgeous it's gorgeous i told you i've ordered i've ordered it in every color that they had it available in because i'm in love with that that is such a me top it's like flashy and classy and a little bit cutesy i just love it and it's a line it fits me very pretty and i really i love tops that have that shape absolutely love that a great buy now these are also super popular on timu there have been so many of them sold and i do not like them i love birkenstocks i know that these have been bought see okay they have like the birkenstock sole and it looks like a birkenstock but again they're like a brick birkenstocks have a give to them that i really appreciate there's a little bit no they're very hard um they're made of that you guys can see like this they were 10 they were like 10 dollars Bir these birkenstocks go for 150 bucks the actual ones i love birkenstocks they're crazy comfortable they have arch support this has nothing there is no arch support in here so they do not compare to birkenstocks as far as foot feel quality at all as far as look quality i don't think that they compare either i do think that this faux cork 
will get scuffed up. I, these are a thumbs down. You guys told me in my last video that you want me to show you the items that I return. This is something that I would return. Um, I prefer to show you the items that I think are home runs, but I will put the items that I don't like in the links below in case you want to look at them for, you know, whatever reason. I personally do not like those. They are not comfortable and I don't like them, but I love, okay, first of all, it's orange and you guys know how this girl feels about all things orange, but this I'm going to stand up and really give you guys a look at. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Are you guys seeing the sleeve? I'm going to record myself in that top and add it into the video. So you guys have probably just already seen me in it because it's so gorgeous. I really want you guys to get a good look at it. Look at the sleeves. Look at that. Do you guys see that? Aren't I paid like $9 for it. The sleeves are beautiful. It is chiffon. And it has little chenille, like 1940s. It's gorgeous. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous kimono. I am in love with it. It is a very nice quality. First of all, I love chiffon. And if I were to buy this from Torrid, you guys, which is my, my go-to comparison because I like Torrid plus size clothing. I think it's fun and funky or hot topic or something like that. This would cost me... $80 and up. $80 on sale at Torrid. Under 10 bucks or 11, I think it was under $10. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a phenomenal piece. If it's not sold out, snag it. You will be so happy at your Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to wear that to Thanksgiving. There's no doubt about it. When I got it and I opened it, I was like, oh, this is my Thanksgiving outfit. I'm so happy. Now this, this cute little thing right here, I'm going to put a picture of next to me was a lightning deal but what it is oh my god it is so cute it is a little garment rack for your earrings and i think that this is the cutest thing i've ever seen and i definitely would like to utilize it when i do a ear all earring or jewelry haul but i bought it actually as a gift to put in a subscriber appreciation gift at some point when I buy some earrings and jewelry to give to you guys. I just think it's so cute. Look at that look. And you can buy, the, it's under, I think it was like $1.99. It comes with a bunch of these little hangers and these cute little hangers are for your jewelry. I think it's adorable, but it's a good toy as well. For a couple dollars, this would be a cute item to pick up for a little girl for her Barbie. That's honestly one of the reasons that I picked it up because I feel like it has, it comes in other colors. I picked it up in blue because I'm thinking in the Christmas subscriber appreciation gift, you guys know how I love to do frosty blue. That's like my thing. I love it. And I don't know. I just like this a lot. I thought it was really cool. Now I did buy these in the past. And again, this is really inexpensive and I kind of wanted a new one. I bought two of these actually um, in this order. Oh my gosh, if I could get it open, it would be great. I like that this one actually comes with this vinyl case. It's pretty, pretty cool. It wasn't a lot of money, but it's very useful. I did get one a long time ago and I washed it and stuff, but I felt like ordering another one because I think it's really great quality. It's a foundation brush. Do you guys see that? A really cool foundation brush. And also, you can squirt your foundation, like, so you don't get dirty. This is what I love about it. Let's say you're using a liquid foundation. You can squirt it onto here, so you don't have to put it on yourself. And then, if you don't want to put it on the brush yet, you can, like, distribute it a little bit. You know, like, sometimes we put it on our hand and we take it off with the brush, but we mix it up. But if you put it on here, you know exactly how much you have, and then you dab a little, and you dab a little, and then you blend. And it's a wonderful, wonderful brush. I highly recommend this brush, as a matter of fact, because I do my makeup with it, and whenever I use this, you guys are always complimenting me on it, and I have to say that I really feel like it's this foundation brush that's just a couple dollars. I love the little spatula. It, it seems stupid actually, but 
it actually really does help me pay attention to what I'm doing and evenly distribute my foundation. So if you're like me and you forget what you're doing, this could be the, the makeup brush for you. It's gorgeous. I like how it comes packaged. The bristles are really, they feel really, really high end. Like I have brushes I bought from Sephora and Mac that honestly, I like this better. I've, I have high end brushes, you guys. But I really, I, I use it all the time. This has become my go-to brush. So I bought one for me and one for you guys. And I I like it. I'm going to probably order more because I never don't want to have one of these. I want to have one in my like overnight bag in case I stay somewhere. I just kind of want to have them evenly distributed amongst my things so that I can always use this brush because I feel like it gives me the best... Um, blending of my makeup. I love how it does my foundation. Then I did order this top and it is a tunic. I also like it a lot. I will say that if it was a little more open, I probably would like it more. Definitely a good price. The fabric is, um, it's like that New York and company fabric again, that feels like a shirt but it's, it's nice. I like this fabric. This fabric is the kind of fabric that you get from Timu that I am completely okay with. And I love the sequins, glitz, and glamour at this price. Again, a nice holiday shirt for a very, very low price. Thank you, Timu. I am totally digging. I'm digging my holiday outfits for so little money, you guys. Again, they would not be these prices anywhere but not even on amazon that shirt is triple the money on amazon then this is my absolute favorite it's like a stretchy 1970s polyester i love this shirt i love when i say i love it i love the neckline i'm going to show you guys exactly how it looks when i try it on later but it is beautiful isn't it beautiful it's beautiful I am completely in love with that. It's now, this was fairly inexpensive and I got a bunch of them. It comes in this bag, which I'm not crazy about how it comes packaged, but Chris and I will figure out a way to put them all together as mini figures. What we're going to do is we're going to put them together. Well, Chris is going to put them all together for me and I'm going to buy several of them and we'll have them standing on this base plate and the kids can come and just take them because they're so cheap, but they come like this. And I know that the Dollar Tree sells little mini figures, but at this price, this is a much cheaper deal. And these actually, they're military guys and they come with the little rifles, which the Dollar Tree ones don't come with any accessories. And I don't know, they're just cheaper and I can get a ton of these. Unfortunately, Timu has been raising their prices over and over again within the last couple of days on these minifigures. I'm assuming that they have been listed on eBay and Mercari by resellers. So Timu is raising their price to meet the demand for the holiday market. We get 24 or 25 of them. Now, I'm not getting 24 or 25 of these guys for that price from Dollar Tree. I think sometimes during the holidays, they release a three pack of them or was it a four pack? But I like the idea of the fact that it comes with the base plate. And at the end of the day, the kid that takes the last guy can also take the base plate. But I think it'll be cool to have a bunch of different ones of these kind of figures. I bought these as a test, basically. But now that I know that they're not bad, I like the way that we're going to be presenting them because I'm going to put them all on a big piece of cardboard and I'm going to put the base plates down with some glue dots and then Chris will build them all and we'll have like 25 army guys, 25 um, Simpson characters, let's say, because they have everything you can imagine and they're like 24, 25 for like $5. Opinion, I think that that is a cool buy. But if you haven't checked out their minifigures, they're not exactly like Lego, but they're not bad. They're more like the ones that are sold. They're a little better than the Dollar Tree ones, but they're not like Lego. They're not an exact replica of Lego minifigures. Then I picked these up because I think that these are really fun, you guys. You guys are going to be like, Marina's lost her damn mind. But in October, I think it'll be fun to wear this if it's raining 
or something like that. I bought one for me and I bought one for a friend because they're so cute. They're so well made. Really very like scrunchy and like really these are adorable. I think it's so cute. I love it. Look at how cute that is. It is such a cute witch's hat, but it, it feels like it's made of wool and you can like bend it and, and make it look however you want to. You can put a brooch in it. You can like mush it down a little, but honestly, it's been raining so much in New York. And in the month of October, I have so many things to deliver and do, but I thought it would be fun. Like during like the month of Halloween to just have a fun kind of high end woolly witch's hat. And I think it's really, I think it's really cute. But I ordered two, like I said, because I got one for me and one for a friend. Oh, look, I look like Eddie Munster right now. <laughs> um, but I kind of think that I like this one better because, of course, it's red. So I'm going to show you guys this one. And they're, these are not like a dollar, but they're not super expensive. But they're also really warm. Um, you know, you can, if you don't like the witchy point, you could actually push it in at which point it would just look like a round hat. Like you could just do this. So you don't, you can wear it past October if you push the top in a little and flatten it out. You guys know what I'm saying. Like you can make it look like a normal hat. You could put a pom pom on it. You can get away with wearing it more than in just October. But I love the fact that it has that witchiness to it. I think it's super duper cute. And so let me show you what it looks like. There, how adorable is that hat? It is so cute to wear on a like pouring rain. I hate hats. Let me just preempt this by saying that I do not like to wear hats. You guys know that I only like to wear my sunglasses in my hair. So this is kind of like too much right here. I, I look like what, I'm incognito. But when it's pouring rain out, you know what I hate more? Umbrellas. So I hate to get my hair wet. And this is kind of like the perfect solution to not having to carry an umbrella, but, you know, also not getting pneumonia. And I think that it's just really like, it kind of has this, it, it sort of has like this fairy, like foresty, druid kind of look to it. I think it'll be really fun. Like if I'm, if it's pouring rain, I'll put this on and wear it with like a white scarf and like fun earrings and I'll be doing what I have to do, but I'll also stay dry, not have soaking wet hair. And then when it stops raining, I can take it off and obviously not have to wear it, but they're super well made. You guys, they're really, really nice quality. They feel like wool so warm that I'm like sweating from having put it on. So these are definitely good, good quality. They'll last you forever. And I mean, yes, I'm only really going to wear them in October. Am I really going to run around in a witch's hat in December? No, but like I said, if I want to, I can put a pom-pom on it and then it will be, it will look different if you add a pom-pom to it. It won't look as witchy, but I think they are super duper cutesy witchy and I love how they look. In my opinion, these are darling. Last couple of items to share with you guys. This. First of all, look at how it comes delivered. I love how they package it. I love it. I mean, love. And it's in this little tube, like a mailing tube. It's a canvas that's not on canvas. And you guys know that I actually don't like my canvases on canvas because I like to do other things with them. But look at this cat coffee retro print that I'm in love with. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. I may put it on a pillow. I may put it on a tray and add it to my cocoa bar because I love, this could be my whole Halloween theme. This is super vintage. You could put this on a jacket, a shirt. Canvases could be used in so many ways. And I always tell you guys that because they are fabric. You could do whatever you want with canvases. And I wish more people did. You could put this on a tote, get a blank tote from the Dollar Tree and put it on a tote or I don't know. I actually was thinking about um, somehow putting it on my coffee maker, but it it wasn't. It won't work. But I think I'll probably put it in a tray and decoupage it into a tray. 
Isn't it beautiful? It's so retro and adorable. And I may order some other components to this retro cosmic cat collection. I love the carafe. I love the old fashioned cup. I love everything about this, the old fashioned um, mid-century modern art. I love it. Wouldn't that be so cute for Halloween? Like in this little nook area on a pillow. I just think it's beautiful. And I had to get it for that price because I just really wanted to get a better look at it. But I'm definitely going to do something with that. Um, yeah, I love I love to get canvases and take them apart. And then I like to take these things, deconstruct them, and then reconstruct them. You can take a canvas that's small. You can even do it with the Dollar Tree ones. You can take a small canvas, go to your thrift store, get a big, beautiful frame for not a lot of money. Sometimes you can get amazing hardwood frames that would cost you a fortune and you could get them for a couple bucks. Then you put like fabric that matches it. Like you could put orange fabric backing and then you put this canvas and you make a much bigger piece of art out of a small piece of canvas. And it looks really retro, vintage, and fantastic. I've done things like that um, with artwork and collages and old vintage frames. And I really, really like to do that. Now, these last items, I, I had to try. I don't know if my hair will hold them, but they're relatively inexpensive. They're pretty inexpensive. God knows. You guys know. I don't need any more hair clips because I buy so many from the Dollar Tree, but these kind of piqued my interest because I love a high ponytail hair clip because it's not that easy to find hair clips like this that make like this high kind of ponytail. And I just think that that would be, oh my gosh, that is, yes, that is really cute, guys, when you're really hot. I mean, of course you would have to, these are cute, I love it. Absolutely love that for that money it's hard to come by a clip like that that is so cute and you could you know do it the right way on a hot day which now is what it's so funny summer's over and now we're having super hot weather every day so i'm gonna wear that tomorrow probably <laughs> i actually think that these clips are amazing trips down vintage memory lane for a couple of bucks that was totally worth it and they're very nice metal quality i think that they're very very cool I bought it in gunmetal and silver. And you guys see it's like one piece, but it looks like you put string around your whole hair. It's very, very pretty actually. So that's it guys. That's everything I have to share with you in my Timu haul. Like I said, use my affiliate link. Um, like I said, you guys, all of the links will be in the description box and in the comments. You can use my code to save yourself some money. Hold things in your cart until the lightning deal strikes, if that's what you choose to do. But if you buy it through my link, I definitely will appreciate you because um, it'll give me a couple of bucks to buy some new stuff and do another Timu haul. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, guys, stay safe and try Timu. Bye, guys.